There's Owen Pickering. I mentioned back in the lineup tonight for Mike Sullivan. Battled through that illness as Michael Bunting will feed it. Bovillier's drive is stopped by Vladar. And he'll squeeze it on that. And already a couple opportunities in the first few minutes of this one. I mean, yeah, I always think when you, you go to new teams, I know he's been here for 20 games. It's It takes some time to... One of his three goals this year came against the Penguins in that first meeting back on October the 22nd as the Flames rumble back in. Kadri's got it. Wrist shot. Save Nadelkovic. Rebound poked wide by Kuzmenko. Pospisil's sharp angle drive. Center point to Anderson. He'll drift right side. It comes back towards Kadri and again to Anderson. 20 seconds of the power play. Anderson walks the line. Kadri's shot. Save Nadelkovic. Rebound off the post. Pospisil couldn't finish in a pence clear. Wow. We're gonna watch this shot come through. It's just missed. And it just Yeah, body position. It's a bounce that goes the Penguins way early. And out of the box is Ryan Shea. So the Penguins with the kill and in they come. Rust wrist shot held on to by Vladar. And Dustin Wolf just he's I'm he's Probably Mike Calder leader up to this point for yeah, call. rookie of the year. I mean, you got him, Mishkov, you got Stan Colvin in Dallas. But he's been phenomenal for the Flames here. His shot sticked aside by Vladar. Miramanov knocked off the puck. Crosby back in front, sliding over with Vladar to stop Rust. As Hazel lose control, it's taken back by Huberto. Slides it over to Pahal, steps in, shooting. Nadelkovich gets a piece. And and then this is the one, I mean, that one had some dick. Penguins unable to connect. Penguins may have a chance here, though, a two-on-one. It's Bunting and Mobilier. Anthony Mobilier to Bunting. Save Vladar. And he covers. It off as Mobilier comes down, passes it over to Bunting. And Roland's puck, unable to get it past Danny Vladar. Push it over the line, but Ned holding his ground pretty well. Off the end wall, oh, Alex Nedeljkovic, a stellar stop. The fans letting him hear it, wow. I mean, this puck came off the wall hot. As Kevin Ball shoots it in, short side wide. And I'm thinking, honestly, I'm thinking that's a set play. There's no other reason Rasmus Anderson is the other defenseman is going to be running down that side. Puck did not cross the line, there's no goal. That's Brandon Blandino, one of our two referees tonight. The other one, Brian Pacmara. The linesmen are Devin Berg and Jesse Marquis. So. You obviously tell from the 10-bell save he made, but a lot of those ones are really difficult saves as well. So Penguins trying to get the action going at the other end of the rink, and here they come. Lazat across Bovillier scores! Backhander for Bovillier, and the Penguins strike first late in the first. Bunting and Bovillier, and this time it's Bunting making a beautiful play at the blue line. Lazat putting it over, and it seems like Anthony Bovillier doesn't really have much to do with this. I mean, it's a nice pass over to him, but he's a left-hand shot, but he's on that backhand. and gets elevation, short side. I'm not sure if this thing, no, I think it goes right directly in. I we know he's been scoring goals, but Josh, he's been Counter shooting the puck so cleanly and so hard lately. Another shot there, stop, they score on the rebound! And Bunting slams it in for a power play goal for Pittsburgh. Two nothing pens. And I like that, the second unit getting a little bit of love and they come through in a big way, just off the draw. Kevin Hayes winning this on his own. And then it's just a battle, and Michael Bunting kind of gets pushed off to the side, takes a swipe at it with his stick. That rebound is just caught. Zary back in front. Nedeljkovic oh. says, no, are you kidding me? What about, how about that kick save right there? To keep kicking and doing everything he can. No stick. Here's Eric Carlson, lofts it high in the air. Crosby catches it in stride off the outside of the net. Oh, that would have been ridiculous. Here comes Crosby. 
Tang's got it again. Grizzly. Penguins moving it well here. Latang will step in, looking back to her, a little in front of Hayes. He'll find Grizzly. Right back to Latang. Looking down low. Back to her feed. Knocked down by Vladar. A shot of the goal! Tomasino! Back to back games for the newcomer. And a power play goal makes it 3 0 Penguins. Side, that save made. And you get a little bit of a scramble in front. Chris Letang getting involved down low. The puck movement on that power play was fantastic. And just jumping on loose pucks. Tomasino just backs up. And he'll push it down to the pen zone once more. Pickering around the wall. Redirect by Russ to Crosby. Foot race with Bean. Crosby lowers the shoulder but lost the puck. Still gets it back. Crosby in front. Raquel scores! And Ricky Raquel and the Penguins make it 4 nothing on the 10th of the year. And puck protection. I mean, the angle right there. So it's like a no look pass by Sidney Cross. Ricardo Kelter guy stick right in the face of the edge. But he would take those all day long if he could get a goal out of it. A little bit of confidence can go a long way. As the puck's knocked away from Malkin, look out here, a chance, shorthanded, it's Sharon Govich, great save, Nedeljkovic! Kevin Hayes been a bit of a, a facilitator for this second power play unit as he comes back to Grizzlick, across there, a shot, they score! Chris Letang hammers it past Ladar, another power play goal for Pittsburgh! Five, nothing pens! keeping it simple but sometimes just snapping the puck around making it look great as well as this puck goes it's moved up top and around a grizzly feeding chris letang who fires this thing and ends up just hitting vladar's arm and going in here's hayes steps in matt grizzly Passing to Latang, down low, bunty stopped by Vladar. It's loose right atop the crease, comes back to Grizzly. Back towards Grizzly, he's hit by Pospisil. Shrugs off that check, but then lost the puck. Kadri in, centers in front, they score. Jonathan Huberto beats Nedeljkovic short side. And the shutout bid is broken with 5.33 to go. It was Pospisil just creating a little bit of chaos. Then Kadri comes in there and knocks this puck free and then makes a fantastic play, cutting back and finding Gruberdo. A little bit of confusion as both defensemen are going towards Kadri, and that's why Huberdo gets open and slides. I remember saying to you at the end of the first, there's a little tough period there for Chris to think, the way he bounced back. Yeah, good point. And, and that's something that's big. It just doesn't matter how the first period went, maybe for him in, in particular, but he battled back in a big way. Flames get another one back as Nazem Kadri roofs a rebound. And Kadri is now factored in on both Flames goals here over the last 90 seconds or so. And... It close looks to be onside and then just winning the puck battle like they did on the last goal. Nazem Kadri heading to the front of the net. Anderson spinning away from Raquel. Gets it to Ball. Huberto knocked down with Tang. He's in alone. Save Ladar now once but twice. He's been trying to get involved all game here. Turnover created at center by O'Connor. Nice pass to Lazad. He'll come in. Wrist shot. Score! Blake Lazad goes Shelfy. And the Penguins with some insurance late at 6 2. See a turnover and just Drew Connor jumps on it right away. Feeds Blake Lazad. And I'll tell you what, I watched Blake Lazad when he was in. LA I liked his game energy can do a little bit of this a little bit of that but I didn't know he had this type of a shot that's a rolling puck but he but you love the result the paint your nails tonight he took the words right out of my mouth what are you gonna say <laughs> that's a good game Josh I'll tell you what